Hello, hello, I'm Christy Forsyth, and this is your weekly energy reading where we talk all about what's happening in the collective weekly energy, the energy that impacts each and every one of us, and how we can use this energy to make the most of the week. So we're going to talk about what to expect, how you can use it, and some of the stuff that you might be feeling here already in this energy. We're going to break down the messages, what I'm feeling in the energy, and then we're going to dive into a tarot reading to build upon the messages. So I do recommend that people stick around to the end, that you check out the whole video that you get all of the messages because it all comes together for those of you who have stuck around to the end you know how the whole the full picture comes together with the tarot so it's a really important aspect to what we're doing and it gives you a better sense of what the weekly messages are so first and foremost let me know how you're doing let me know what's been going on for you i feel like there's a lot of really great stuff that's happening in this energy. I feel like there's been some challenging things absolutely that are happening in the energy. I feel like we're in this energy that we talked about where there's so much happening, like there's a lot of curveballs, there's a lot of surprises, good surprises overall, but also just surprises where we're not quite sure what to do with them. We're not quite sure what to make of them. We don't know what, uh, what they mean for us or where they're going to be leading us. And what I want to invite people to do is to do our best to go with the flow with all of this, because there's more, there's more to come. I feel like, like there's just so many things happening too, where a lot is coming to the surface. We do have several planets in retrograde. We are doing a lot of our soul work. We're learning a lot of lessons. And I think as part of that, we're finding that there are specifically, I feel like this week, it's like connections with people. We are maybe reconnecting with people from the past and that there is a purpose for that. That doesn't mean, for example, like that you're going to get back together with your ex. That's not what I mean. But I do feel like there's a call to kind of come together with people, maybe to have conversations. Maybe we're just running into people and it's bringing up nostalgia. There's, there's definitely a, a theme in this energy of that. And, or, or maybe even just we're thinking about people from the past. We're thinking about circumstances from the past. And this is all for us. This is all happening to allow us and to support us in working through some stuff. I do feel like there's a lot of inner child healing that's happening or younger version of ourselves that's happening here in this energy. So you may find that these conversations are coming up or these memories are coming up or people kind of circling back right now to support us in facilitating more healing, the healing that we need in order to allow us to support us to move forward. I also feel like some of these curveballs, some of these things that are coming up are truths that are coming to the surface. Remember that we are moving into eclipse season and eclipse season is all about preparing us in the next couple of weeks to make the changes that we need to make in our lives in order to help us to be in a better place. And so there may be truths that are coming to the surface right now. Do not bury your head in the sand. Do not try to deny them. Do not try to justify them. If a truth is impacting you in such a way that you're recognizing, I've got to make some changes as a result of this, it's so key and so important for our success this week for us to honor that. So I'm curious, like, is this stuff coming up for you guys? And I would love to hear from you in comments what's coming up for you or feel free to send me a message as well. Some of you guys prefer to do that privately. Totally get that. But what's coming up for you this week? And what are you working on? What are you noticing? Part of what I'm feeling like here in this energy is that we have this ability to get to work on some things. And this is an energy where you're going to want to be as focused as possible. And that's not always going to be possible because I do feel like we have stuff coming up that's tugging at our attention. And some of it is our soul work, the stuff that we need to heal, the stuff that we need to work on and develop. So when I say getting to work, that might be the work that we're doing. We also might be working on actual work, you know, or we might be working on like a, a have a new 
focus on our workouts that we're doing or other goals that we have, because I do feel like here in Virgo season, there is the shift back into what are my goals? What do I need to be working on? What do I want to be working on? What are my priorities? And in the mix of all of this, there's this energy that would, if we allow it to pull us back into fear, that would keep us stuck, that would keep us small. We want to be really aware of our thoughts and the thoughts that we're entertaining and what we're feeding here in this energy. And so the biggest thing that came through for me and the most important message, I think, is because I think we're going to get to this place where we question quite often, and you're probably already there. I've had it happen for me several times this week that we might be starting to doubt if something can actually happen. And so the message that I got was that we need to stop asking if it's going to happen and to start asking how it's going to happen. And that's a big shift. And so if we are posing that question to our higher power, to God, to the universe, to whatever that is for you, if we're saying, hey, God, This is something that is on my heart. This is something that is on my soul. This is something that I'm wanting to have happen. Show me how. Show me what you're going to do, what you're moving, and show me my part. And so when we get that how, when we get that awareness of this is my part, this is what I need to be doing, we number one need to not question it, right? Because it doesn't always follow this logical process. You might feel called to take some steps and they may seem to have nothing to do with the thing that you're wanting to have happen in your life, the thing that you're wanting to create, the goal that you're wanting to achieve. But as you simply trust your intuition and you start to take those steps, it starts to move us in that direction. Have you ever found like you're in that place where you're like, I'm not sure why I'm doing this or I'm not sure why I'm feeling called to do this, but I I am. And that leads you to something really positive, something really powerful in your life. It's that kind of vibe this week. And so start to ask how, and in your mind this week is going to be searching for that how. Not necessarily getting so wrapped up in the how that we're shutting the energy down, right? Because we can also do that. We can we can also go, well, I, I don't see how it can happen, right? Um, but instead, kind of have that mindset of how with a very open mind. The, the, the understanding that it's already done, it's already being created for us. So how? How am I going to make this happen? And and then we need to be taking those steps. And I do think in a lot of cases, it's going to require us to put some work in and to do those things that aren't necessarily what we feel like doing, right? To do, uh, Virgo sees that like this energy is very much about like those little details and taking care of them and taking the time to really put the energy and the effort in. If you were ever going to put effort in, now is the time. And you're going to want to put the effort into the things that you're feeling called to work on. And you're going to want to put the effort into what aligns with what aligns for you or what aligns with your priorities. I also want you to pay attention. This is such an important time of prioritizing ourselves. And so I want you to pay attention to what truly is a priority in your life and to focus your energy there. But I also want you in your life to pay attention to what other people's priorities seem to be. There's a lot of truth that's coming to the surface. So if other people's priorities do not seem to align with what our priorities are, that's a truth. I also, when I was connecting with this energy, heard if they wanted to, they would. So let people show you where their priorities are. And if they're showing up in the ways that align for you in your life, beautiful. If they're not, then that's something to think about, right? I think that that in that case is preparing us for eclipse season and all of the changes are that are to come. We want to make sure that we're open, that we're available for what wants to come in, even if it wants to come in in different ways. Or I was saying last week, like how we need to be really detached from a specific outcome, 
right? Because sometimes if we're too attached to a specific outcome, we're going to actually prevent the answer to how is this going to happen from happening. I do feel like a little bit, some of you may feel this way, like that we're working against some kind of an energy that is slowing us down, trying to pull us back into old mindsets, trying to pull this back into old ways. And it's a pitfall here in this energy that we could easily fall into. And so the next message that I got is that we need to be absolutely diligent with our thoughts. And I thought, like, I'm pretty good at this, right? I'm pretty mindful about what I speak into existence, what I think into existence. I pay attention to that. But when I connected with this concept of that I needed to be diligent about that, I started to realize how many times my mind is wanting to go into fear, is wanting to go into lack still. And so I feel this pull, especially right now, because the energy can create so many amazing things for us right now. I'm feeling like I need to keep my energy as pure and as clean as possible. So I need to keep my thoughts as pure and as clean as possible. So when my brain wants to go into worrying, where I may have allowed a few moments of worry before, I am on top of it. I am like a drill sergeant with my thoughts right now. And I want to invite you guys to do that as well. Be a drill sergeant to your thoughts. Ask God to be a drill sergeant to your thoughts, right? Ask God to, as quickly as possible, correct you. Bring your awareness to it so that you're noticing the thoughts that you're feeding or the things that you're saying out loud because remember, all of that is creating. So I think that that is so important. We need to be vigilant with our thoughts, with our speech. Um, What's that? from um, the four agreements, right? Be impeccable with your word. And a huge piece of that talks about making sure that we're using our word, our thoughts to create the things that we want, not the things that we don't want. And there's a lot of magic in this energy. So we want to be intentionally as often as we possibly can continuing to move our energy back. I got some, well, frankly, like awful news about somebody that I really cared about yesterday. And so it was hard. It was hard to come out of that energy. But even in that, I just kept having to consciously choose. Nope. There's, there's nothing that I can do about that. I can feel what I need to feel. And I did honor the feelings that I needed to honor, but then I intentionally kept coming back to my peace to my ease, to my joy. It's a little easier for me today than it was yesterday. But I think the point is that we just want to keep trying and we want to be on top of that and and, and making sure that we're doing that. I think that we are on the brink of the greatest level up of our lives. So you want to ask yourself, what is the energy that I want to create from? And I think that we're now being like, this is like that next level where where it's like, okay, you've been working on purifying your thoughts. You've been working on helping your thoughts to be more positive, helping your thoughts to create better things for you. And now, now we're being held to a higher standard, right? Now we're being invited to be even better about that. Because when we can be even better about that, we're going to create even better things. So I think that this is so key and so important. I'm just looking at my notes and making sure that I didn't miss anything from before. And and try not to get too caught up in like if somebody isn't showing up in the ways that you expected or if there's a truth that's disappointing. Again, if they wanted to, they will. Let people show you. They're going to show you either way here in this energy. Keep in mind, too, like this is instant karma energy, right? So you want to be really, really aware of the energy that you're putting out there, how you're treating other people, how you're handling situations, handling it with as much light as possible, being mindful about how you communicate. I think that this energy supports us in being more aware, in thinking before we speak, in responding in a way that is more thoughtful. So 
it gives us this opportunity to really take a look at what are we truly entertaining in our minds. You might even write that down. This, like the thoughts that are coming through, because I think you're going to have some breakthrough moments this week where it's like, oh, I didn't realize that that was a core belief that I had, or, oh, I didn't realize how many times over the course of a day I think about that particular thing. So we're going to pull tarot cards now and build on those messages. You guys, I appreciate you all so much for liking, subscribing, sharing, tagging, whatever you feel called to do. It helps to support the channel. Some of you guys have even started to send stars here on Facebook, and I love it. It's so appreciated. I shared with you all while I'm shuffling these cards, I will uh, talk with you about it. I shared with you all in my most recent video my goal to onboard 30 new members into my membership. It's just something that I'm working on. This is something as I'm coming back to my own goals that I really would love to see. I want to share this membership with people. It's very focused on spiritual growth, personal growth, classes, hypnosis sessions, med meditations, but most importantly, energy sessions, because so, so many of you are sensitive to energy. And so the energy sense, oh my gosh, now I can't speak. So the energy sessions, help to bring balance to your energy field. They help to give your energy field what it is that they need because it's not just a guided meditation. I do an energy session right along with it. So you're receiving the energy that is connected with that. It helps to support you in this level up, in this powerful, powerful level up, this powerful breakthrough that we're on the brink of. So it's gonna help to support you. And by the way, when you're on the brink of a major breakthrough, a lot of stuff comes up. I feel like we're navigating a lot of stuff and it's different every single day. So know that that's an indication that your breakthrough is on its way. Know that it's an indication that you are on the final phase of this lesson and you're just kind of working out the last pieces of that so that you can have the level up into where you want to be. So anyway, uh, with my membership, I would love to bring, I already have had some new signups. So that goal is a little bit less than 30 now, but I would love to bring you on board. It's only $9.99 a month anyway, but it has all the tools that you need and you can get the first month for free. Just put in all caps, free month and sign up. I'll put the links below. I, we would love to have you in there. And it's all the tools that you need to lead your own journey, or I have a lot of people that I work with one-on-one -on -one who like to use it as a supplement to their stuff as well. So keep that in mind. So first card, King of Pentacles in reverse. Where do I need to, what do I need to be tending to in my garden to create the kind of success that I want? What do I need to be tending to in my garden to create the kind of success that I want? How can I make this happen? We might have to be digging deep. We might have to be, you know, getting our hands dirty. We might be working hard. We might be burning the midnight oil. We might have to uh, do a lot of work to make this happen, but it is within reach. And I think that that's the important thing to understand. The things that we want are within reach. And, and so they're, they are coming in and you may be feeling that coming in, but we need to continue to work on these seeds that we have planted to foster them, to nurture them. So paying attention to that. And where are you feeling the call? Where have you let some things go? whether it's with yourself, with your health, with your business, with your work, with the goals that you're working on, with your relationships, where have you let some things go that you need to come back to? I'm sure that you're being shown, but ask yourself that question. That's going to be really key and really important. Also finding balance, four of swords, making sure that we're finding that balance, that we're taking time to rest and to reflect. And I'm also feeling like in hearing integration, right? To integrate all of this energy that we've been receiving lately, because collectively we are receiving a lot of upgrades and we're different people. 
I've been saying this a lot, but we are different people than we were when we started out this year. We might be different people than we started out this month even. That's like how quickly this is moving. So we need to take the time to integrate the clarity that's coming through, the insights that are coming through, but also the energy that's coming through. So make sure that you leave space for balance and to hear yourself and to relax and meditate and uh, some quiet time in your own energy. That is so key. I also think here, six of wands in this week, we're going to find that we have been victorious with something. And my sense with this is like, this is something that we thought that we lost. This is something that we thought that we failed. This is something that we thought was an opportunity that we thought we would get, but it didn't come through, like some kind of a disappointment. And all of a sudden it hits, it happens, it comes through. And so this is a victory after a challenging time, but it feels like something that maybe we had take action, taken action toward in the past. And now it's happening some seeds that we planted in the past that maybe took a long time to grow and we kind of gave up on those seeds and now it's happening, right? So, and this is further clarified for me with this four of cups right here. So the four of cups, this is an opportunity out of nowhere. We might even be not thinking about anything. We might be bored. We might be just focused on something else. And then all of a sudden an opportunity comes out of nowhere. That is this kind of energy. And it does feel like some kind of opportunity that is circling back or that we have sown the seeds of that in the past. This is definitely reap what you sow kind of energy. Okay, so be be thinking about that. But I, I think that some really good things are coming in. And this is also an invitation to be open to the opportunities that are coming in. Because I've been saying these opportunities may look very different than they did than we thought they would, than we expected, right? If you are manifesting relationships, it might be a different person. The the person that you thought that was going to work with, you know, shows you who they are, shows you what they want, or shows you that that's not right. But another opportunity comes in and shows you how aligned that can be. So just be open to the possibilities. It could be a job, right? Where you thought something was right for you, and then it's actually turns out something is totally different is right for you, but it feels really aligned. You'll know because it'll feel aligned as long as you're open to it. Speaking of being open, keep your heart open, right? The King of Cups. I think that there's a real mastery here of our emotions that's available to us if we allow it to not let our emotion take over, especially in regard to our thoughts, because our thoughts result in us feeling an emotion, but then we feel an emotion and that's going to fuel thoughts. So we don't want to get in a loop where we're having a lot of negative thoughts. So we have a thought, it makes us feel shitty and then we feel shitty. So it makes our next thought shitty and it becomes this loop, right? We want to break up the loop. We want to master how we are feeling. And ideally we want to think about, okay, how does it feel for me to feel happy? And, and hold that energy in the body. How would it feel for me to feel whatever it is that you're wanting to feel? Whether that's, you know, you want to feel um, confident. What would that feel like in your body? And your body, your whole system knows how to, how to create that. So you don't even, like, don't ever think that. You know what to do. What would it feel like to feel abundant? When it, what would it feel like to feel like the universe is always taking care of you and, and pulling up the emotion of that and maybe even where you would feel that physically in the body, however you want to do that. But I feel like that's really key this week. And this is also an energy of making sure that we're not letting our emotions get the best of us. I think we're learning a lot and, and not letting those emotions get to a place where it's tanking our thoughts because, again, our thoughts we have to be really on top of our thoughts here this week so that we're creating from what it is that we want. So we have the King of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups right next to it. I think, did this happen last week? I feel like it did. I feel like it did. Um, 
if it wasn't this, we did have two divine counterparts here. So there's love available for some, right? If you're looking for love, you might be here in this energy, finally connecting with that person that you're meant to connect with, or with all of this past energy, it may be a reconnection. Um, be open, keep your heart open, be open to that, but also be mindful of like the queen of cups. She's mindful about what she's willing to invest her heart into. See how she has a closed cup. Um, but that's because she's so sensitive, right? So she's mindful of that. She has boundaries. She has standards. So again, if somebody were to show up in her life, that was not meeting those standards, she's not going to tolerate that. She's going to do that with warmth, but she's going to move on, right? So being mindful of that, being mindful of where your heart is leading you, keeping your heart open and letting all of the goodness that wants to flow in, in this energy flow in, because I think there's a lot that's available to us. Again, so much of this feels like it's already done. It's just a matter of us asking how and inviting in that divine leadership to show us the steps and to support us in the how, because you don't have to do all the work yourself. You can invite God in and say, hey, God, can will you do your part? Will you help me with this? I know that this is. I know that I've created this. I know that this is where things are going. So can you work on your part and can you show me the how of what I need to be doing? So this is how we can use this energy here to the best of its ability here this week. If you are watching this on my YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. I always love to see when I have new subscribers. If you are watching this on my Facebook, please feel free to, to like, heart, share, comment, whatever you want to do. All the things on wherever you're watching this video, it just helps to support it and helps things to get where they need to go and to put it in front of the people that need to see it. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you soon with another video. Take care.